Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This truck was brought in as the customer city apparently had another shop install a new oil pump, but his engine still has no oil pressure. Whoever installed the oil pump damaged it in the process and put Lucas oil stabilizer in the engine to try and gain some oil pressure. That did not work so this shop ended up replacing the engine as multiple bearings were scored. And this customer had a tire blowout on the highway, so they installed their spare tire. When the customer had installed the spare tire, they installed it backwards, and also hit a curb on the way to the shop, which caused the spare tire to go flat. Since the spare tire was installed backwards, the customer now needs a new caliper and caliper bracket. Customer states they have a knock and noise underneath their vehicle. The customer never did mention what happened to the drive shaft, but the technician said it had quite the driveline vibration as well. When this customer brought in their vehicle to get their summer tires installed, the technician had this happen when he lifted up the vehicle on the lift. There was no mention of this from the customer, but it was repaired before they left. And this customer had tried to do their own transmission service, but had quite the leak afterwards, so they brought it to this shop to get it looked at. The technician said he's not quite sure what the customer was doing to damage the threads and transmission case, but it'll be getting a new transmission case installed. This customer's vehicle was brought in as they said they still have a coolant leak after they tried fixing it themselves with silicone. A week prior, this customer had four new tires installed, but is now back as they said their tires are melting. The technician had to inform the customer that they drove over fresh asphalt and that there was no issues with their tires. Well, I got this cool little snorkel, you know, just hanging out. Not connected or nothing. That's hilarious. When this customer's Ford Focus was brought in for some unrelated work, the mechanic noticed it had quite the dash cam installation for the front and rear camera. And this customer came in to get their axle seals replaced and as they said they have a vibration over 50 miles per hour. When this customer brought in their vehicle for a brake line corrosion recall, the technician noticed this broken brake rotor on both sides. The customer was informed but declined all repairs. Customer states to hear a grinding noise after they installed their own brakes. The brake pad retaining springs are supposed to be installed side to side instead of up and down. And this customer brought in their vehicle as they said the spoiler they recently installed is loose. The technician said he also found some water in the trunk of the car due to the poor installation job. Customer states every time they hit the brakes, their lights dim and they smell smoke. The starter solenoid had fallen off the starter, and when the brakes were applied, it swings forward and sits on the frame rail. And that was causing the emergency brake cable to short out and burn through the, the outer coating of the cable. This customer's vehicle was brought in as they said the radio and infotainment screen does not work. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.